Today we'll go step by step on how to achieve a cinematic look in a simple way. We'll start with these adjustments to take advantage of a larger color space, regardless of the camera used to shoot. First, we'll use this node structure. As you can see, it's very straightforward. We'll only use these nodes. The first node is reserved for noise reduction. In our second node, we'll apply the color space transform effect. For input color space, we select the camera used to shoot the footage. In our case, it's Ari. We do the same for gamma. And for output, we select DaVinci Wide Gamut and DaVinci Intermediate since that's how we set up our project. In our Record 709 node, the inputs will match what we selected as the output in the previous node. And for outputs, we select Rec 709 and Gamma 2.4. In our effect node, we'll add the Dehancer plugin. We're going to leave everything as default, except we'll turn off the Film Grain option. Here we can see the comparison of our footage in Rec. 709 and with the Dehancer plugin. Dehancer immediately gives our clip a much more pleasant starting point with that distinctive analog feel. Now let's balance the image in the balance node. We'll start by adjusting the luminance. I'll lower the gain a bit while compensating by raising the gamma. We'll reduce the highlights slightly, keeping an eye on our scopes the whole time. Everything should stay in place. We can use offset to cool down the image a bit more. We'll increase the saturation slightly and continue making subtle adjustments to lift, gamma, and gain to ensure our image is well balanced. Next, we move to our log wheels. Here, we'll add a bit of blue to the shadows to make our blacks appear more natural. One of the most important techniques in color grading is ensuring that the blacks are always well balanced. There should be no color cast in this area, or it should be as minimal as possible. This is what sets an amateur colorist apart from a professional. I'll give a bit more brightness with gamma Our image is already looking great. I'll cool it down a bit more using the temperature tool. In our vignette node, we'll create our mask. We'll adjust it to make our subject stand out. We'll invert the mask and lower the exposure with gamma and gain. Nice.
Next, in our following node, we'll create another mask and adjust it to further highlight the subject or the most important part of your clip. We'll go to Curves and add a bit of brightness to the highlights, just a touch. Now, in our Saturation node, we'll adjust the Color Boost. This tool reacts differently than the Saturation tool. It increases chroma in more subtle areas of the image, so we'll get a different response compared to using the traditional tool. Remember, we should always make subtle adjustments. In our Dehancer plugin, there's a tool I love, the Bloom effect. This gives a beautiful glow. We'll customize the effect by selecting Custom and lowering the impact. Always be very subtle with your adjustments. Just like this. We'll move to our last node in parallel. I'll do something very subtle here, just to control the red tones a bit. just a little bit. Let's check our skin tones. I'll create a window here to better visualize them. In our vector scope, we'll select the Show Skin Tone Indicator option and make sure the skin tone is as close to this point as possible. Here we can see that thanks to our initial balance, we're right where we should be. I'll further adjust the shadows in this global node. and add a bit more contrast with curves, this will give it a more striking touch. I'll slightly lower the lift and add a touch of warmth with gain. Often, you need to keep comparing to see if you're adding value or not. We'll check our scopes to ensure everything is correct. At this point, I'll add our noise reduction. Just a bit. Around five should be more than enough for this image. I'll go back to our character's mask and increase the luminance a bit more. In Dehancer, we'll activate the Film Developer option. And increase the color boost a bit. I want to highlight the blue of his shirt. So in our Saturation node, I'll select the shirt color and increase the saturation.
And now we have an amazing look with that characteristic contrast and saturation of analog films. Don't forget to subscribe to keep learning.